What's going on y'all? My name's Nate. Welcome back to Fallen Tide TV. Today I'm on a solo duck hunt. I'm hunting out of the P-Rog this morning. I'm very close to the house. I gotta be home pretty early today to take care of the baby. Uh, my wife's going off to work at about 12.30, so I gotta make sure that I'm home at a decent time this morning. Uh, but I figured I'd squeeze in a little solo hunt this morning. In this particular area, it's freshwater marsh, surrounded by cypress trees. The other day we came out here, it was a lot of divers flying around for whatever reason. That's actually the first time I've really seen that in a lot of years here. Uh, for the most part, this place is usually teal, wood ducks, occasional big ducks like grays, uh, even spoonies sometimes, and occasional mallard will come through here. And this morning, what I'm hearing before daylight is a lot of uh, black belly whistling ducks. They'll probably be long gone out of here before shooting light. That's, that's typically how it goes around here. As of the conditions, it's about 40 degrees. It's post front. They had a front come through yesterday. It should be a bluebird sky today. Usually on days like this, we, we might get a few mallards come down from the migration. So being that it is a weekday today, and there's probably gonna be nobody in here, maybe one other hunter, there, there might be a chance that I might get a shot on a mallard today. I think that'd be really cool if I could. If not, no big deal. I just hope they got a few teal flying around, maybe a few wood ducks that wanna give us a try. Either way, I'm just happy to be out here. It is a beautiful, crisp morning. And uh, yeah, I'm about to start putting out these decoys. I got about a dozen teal, a dozen, uh, dozen gadwall decoys, a couple of spoony decoys. Then I got a couple of butt ripplers. I'm gonna put out because it's real calm today. Hopefully that'll be enough to make them look a little bit more realistic. Just getting these decoys thrown out. Probably got still about an hour until shooting time. I love mornings like this where it's just laid back. Not really in a hurry for anything. Just enjoying the morning, getting away, you know, getting out the house, enjoying the weather. I love days like this. It's about 10 minutes before shooting time. I could hear those black belly whistlers. They're getting up out of here. It's usually what they do. And I just seen a big old drove of wood ducks flying right over the trees. Big old flock of wood ducks. About 20 or 30 of them flying right over them trees. You know, the thing is though, I think I'm alone in this place today. I'm pretty sure that I got it to myself. It's a Tuesday. Uh, pretty sure there ain't gonna be nobody in here. I hadn't seen nobody coming yet. And uh, somebody could be up towards the front over there. But that'd be it. <clears throat> and, and what that means is, if there's no shooting in here, a lot of times them wood ducks will feel a little bit more comfortable coming in and, and trying out your decoys. So hopefully that's the case today. <laughs> so here come that flock of wood ducks. Now what I'm gonna do with all of y'all? I don't know what I'm gonna do with this big old flock of wood. I can't even see him. Pretty sure I got two. They landed in a group back there. Yeah, I got two. Two wood ducks now. I don't even know if y'all could see that real good. I couldn't even see them when they came in right here. I just saw a big group of ducks laying in the water. I tried to hit those. I seen a pile of three of them and I shot, boom, and I saw one of them get up, but I didn't see the other two get up. And that's why I took a shot at the wood duck right here. But there was some teal in there too. I was looking for teal. So let me get out and go get them birds right quick. I know this drake looked pretty good. From what I could tell. That was awesome. Big old flock of wood ducks. I don't usually have success getting them big flocks to come in like that. I mean, they came in and just did it right. What a beauty. Beautiful wood duck. All right, all right. I'll show them to y'all in a minute. I want to get back in the blind. There come one right there. Wood duck. Yep. That's what I thought. It, I thought it was two. 
That's two drakes. I saw I saw three drakes right next to each other. And I said, you know, maybe I can get three in one shot. I thought that'd be cool. <sighs> but I couldn't see them when they were up in the air. I, I was gonna shoot at them when they were coming in, but I just couldn't get a beat on one. I, I just, I'm looking and I'm like, man, I, I'm looking for the drakes, you know? I'm, I get a big flock in like that. You know, I like to shoot just drakes. Well, um, it's a shame I couldn't pick out the third one when he was flying over me. That'd have been sweet. You get one one group man and you get my three three Drake wood ducks because I was I picked out a Drake right here too. I could see him in the sunlight, the little bit of sunlight that we do have. Merganser just landing in a decoy. I ain't gonna shoot it. Live decoy. There's a ring neck. I'm actually going to shoot this. Because there ain't no wood ducks flying right now. How did he not die? I believe that thing didn't die on the first shot. Just thought I squared him up pretty good. I don't have a problem with water swatting, but I do like to, I do like to wing shoot. I, I enjoy wing shooting. So I'm, ne I'm not really trying to make this a water swat day, but that ring neck snuck up from behind me, went right over my head and landed before I could even pick my gun up. And I ain't gonna let him up out of here. If he lands in the decoys, I'm just gonna shoot it. I'm a Louisiana boy, so I'm not uh I'm not quite classy enough to let him jump up. You know? I just shoot him. I like to eat ducks, you know. I, I really do, so ring neck. Pretty ring neck. Not a bad little setup. I got my gad wall here on the left with my Rippler in the middle of them. I got my teal over there, Rippler in the middle of them. I got a couple of couple of spoon bills right here. I got one lonely mallard hen. Well, the morning started off uh, quite nicely, I'd say. We got a couple of these beautiful, beautiful Drake wood ducks here. I'm going to show you the other one. Here's the second one here. Beautiful Drake wood ducks. And I got this pretty Drake ring neck here. Pretty bird too. He's actually a stud. He's got that pretty brown ring around his neck. Pretty bird. Morning started off pretty good. I'll probably hunt till about 8.30 or so. So whatever happens between now and 8.30, you guys will be a part of it. So I appreciate y'all for being here. Duck coming in right here. Oh, there it goes. Green wing teal. It was two of them. I don't. I didn't see the other one. I got my buddy Nathan Bodwin with uh, Golf Outdoors on the phone here with me, enjoying my hunt with me. What's up? What's up? What's up, y'all? <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna pick up this green wing hen. Oh, a little short neck. Good eating right there, y'all. What you got in the boat, bro? What I got in the boat? I got two wood ducks, a ring neck, and a green wing teal hen. Everybody who's watching this video right now, y'all better go subscribe to Golf Outdoors. Golf Outdoors. You got a, I think it's a, what is it, a pintail as your logo? Yeah. Yeah, there's a pintail in his uh youtube uh picture so y'all go y'all go subscribe to my buddy's channel yeah we might be working together or something like that in the future oh definitely yeah we may maybe oh snap i got i got two grays on top of my head dog
Got him. Really? I got him, but I gotta, I gotta put another one in him. And that thing just came out of nowhere. Oh, he's dead. He's toast. Oh my god, dude. That was awesome. It was it was weird, but awesome. Like I, I'm pulling in this cut grass, talking to you. I look up, two grays parachute on top of my head. <laughs> oh my god. I hit that I hit I hit that bird all three times, dude. This modified choke is not the move. <laughs> oh man. That's what I just had in there, I think. Yeah, I had two shot in there. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm shooting three. Man. Dude, I hit that bird. They're, they're flying away. And I was like, man, them things are not coming back. So I just decided to take a shot at like 35 yards, 40 yards while you're flying away. I hit him in the butt. Dude, that thing, a pillow of feathers came out of that thing. Oh, man. And then I hit it again and kicked back again. Hit it the third time. It finally fell. Well, buddy, I just need one more duck. Hey, just landing in a decoy. There you go. Got him. Trying to get up out of here. A green wing hen. Sweet. <laughs> I'm done. <coughs> Let's go get this gray duck. It looked like he was still a little bit lively, so. And the sun shining right in my eyes, so I can't really see it. Let me go out there and try to get my hands on this gray duck real quick. Oh, he's dead. He's toast. Oh, yeah. Same here. All right, buddy. All right, dude. Bye. Bye. Look at this, y'all. Gray duck hen. Gabwall hen right there, y'all. Beautiful duck. What a morning. What an awesome morning. A little mixed bag. Right here, five minutes from the house. Man, nothing like it. I may as well unload this thing. Cause I'm not, I'm not gonna shoot any coots. I'm gonna try to get home. Had a good time. Try to get back to the house real early. My wife probably ain't even woke up yet. That'll make her happy. That'll make her happy when I get home really early. I wish she don't have to concern herself with me getting home on time. Y'all gotta get out and hunt on them weekdays if you can. Once again, y'all, I really do appreciate y'all for uh, for sharing these these hunts with me, and sharing these experiences with me. Cause there's just something about sharing sharing these experiences that that's just special, you know. Green wing hen, tiny green wing. Hmm, missing a leg. I don't think I shot it off either. Nope. That's healed up. Missing a foot. <laughs> a little tiny thing. Teeny tiny. Them little birds. It's actually tiny compared to this one. This size difference. This is a normal green wing. And this is a teeny tiny one. Must be a first year bird. What a hunt, y'all. What a hunt. <laughs> all right, y'all, I got everything all packed up. I'm about to paddle on out of here. Uh, I'm really beginning to think that these paddling solo hunts are becoming my favorite hunts. Like, the older I get, the more I enjoy just spending the time out here all by myself, kind of soaking everything in. And then turning around and sharing it with y'all is very rewarding as well. Cause, cause I'm not technically solo. When I'm out here sharing this hunt with y'all, I'm kind of not really solo. I'm, I'm, I'm like sharing my personal experience with y'all. So that, that's kind of cool too. You know, I'd, I'd love to be able to do this kind of stuff for a living, you know, make these videos for y'all and, and obviously improve my video quality as I go. Uh, something I'm working on right now is just trying to get some better equipment. You know, I'm actually ordering some apparel right now we're gonna be starting up a website pretty soon where you guys can get on there and, and order some gear to try to help support the channel. But the best way to support the channel is simply just subscribe. You know, leave this video a like, comment, 
uh, you know, the best way is for you guys to support the channel is really not buying something from us. It's just supporting us in the ways that you can through the YouTube algorithm. That, that's, that's like the best way to support the channel. So if y'all want to just leave this video a like, a comment, you know, and hit that subscribe button, you know, that would, that would help out a lot. So I appreciate y'all for being here. I appreciate y'all for watching these videos and, and sharing these experiences with me. Uh, you know, what good is me coming out here and, and, and experiencing all of this if I can't turn around and share it with a bunch of people? And, uh, and, and that's what I like to do. So like I said, y'all, hit that subscribe button, leave this video a like, and I'll see y'all next time on Fallen Tide TV. Thank y'all.